After the debate, each side declared victory. Clinton appeared confident back on the campaign trail. He talked down America every chance he gets. The big win last night for Donald Trump is that he really focused on jobs. Just two scientific polls were taken after the debate. Both showed Clinton the clear winner. She was determined to keep Trump off balance Monday, pressing him on his record, as did the moderator. Donald supported the invasion of Iraq. Wrong. That is absolutely Wrong. proved over and over again. I was against the war in Iraq, just so you put it out. The record shows I, otherwise. Rec Indeed, the record does show Trump publicly supporting the Iraq war in a 2002 radio interview. But Trump supporters won't back down. He's a citizen, did have any intelligence that the politicians had access to. And when he was asked, he just said, oh, well, I think so. That's not a support for any war. On global trade, it was Trump who had Clinton a little off balance. He accused her of supporting the North American Free Trade Agreement, calling it the worst trade deal in U.S. history. He attacked her support for the Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Agreement, a position she later reversed. The deal, which Clinton helped negotiate, links 12 Pacific economies, but not China. You Hope called I'm it the gold standard of trade deals. You, you know said what? it's the finest deal you've ever seen. No. And then you heard what I said about it, and all of a sudden you were against it. Well, Donald, I know you live in your own reality, but oh, yeah. that is not the fact. The pair bashed each other over how to defeat terror group ISIL, also known as ISIS. She's published a 9,000-word plan online. He's keeping his a secret. And Clinton reassured Washington's NATO allies. Trump has repeatedly threatened to deny financial support for NATO if they don't pay more, a position that could cost the U.S. more than money. Thousands of uh, soldiers from uh, European uh, NATO allies and also from Canada have been in Afghanistan uh, as a direct response to an attack on the United States. In the end, Clinton supporters say she walked away with it, reassuring voters that she's ready to lead the country. And can I imagine them in the Situation Room with the National Security Council at a moment of great crisis? And I think she probably gave people great confidence. This was arguably one of the most aggressive debates we've seen in recent U.S. history. Uh, it certainly sets the stage for a lot of interest going forward between these two candidates. There are still two more U.S. presidential debates before the election. Jessica Stone, CCTV in Hempstead, New York.